first step is to open the hole, let the drywall dry out. This may take two or three days. If you have a small fan, it'd be beneficial. Next step is you just take a bit of blocking and we're gonna slide this in here. In this case, I've gotta get it underneath the water supply lines. When I'm doing a hole less than 12 by 12 inches, I'd use a California patch, which is just a piece of drywall with wings. I always like to add blocking whenever possible, just to give it a little extra strength. But the trick here is all in taking a piece of drywall and putting it down to a size that's usable. So we are gonna just eyeball this. Cut that in half. And when you're cutting your drywall, you're not really cutting right through it, you're just scoring it. That's all you have to do. So make my mark. Just gotta cut the paper, break it in half, cut the paper again. Now we have the piece that we want. You want your piece to be about two inches larger on each side than the actual hole you're covering. You just hold it up to the hole, mark just inside where the hole is, and then follow that line across. Same for the other direction. Put it up, mark the hole just inside. Score the paper. And this is gonna seem ridiculous, but then you just break it on that line. And then using your fingers, you put pressure on the drywall and peel it off the paper from the backside. This will be my paper tape. It's thinner than traditional drywall tape. It's already attached to the patch, so it reduces the amount of time that it's gonna to take to repair this. Now this obviously was a little bit bigger than it needed to be, we'll just rip that extra off. So now we go up and we just confirm that it fits inside the hole, and it does. So for this particular situation, we're working in a finished kitchen. Doing drywall work is messy. So we're going to use the CGC Dust Control Mud. Uh, it's a pretty good product. It doesn't finish quite as smooth and pretty as traditional mud, but because when you sand, everything falls straight down, it's a lot easier to control the mess that you're gonna make when you finish up. After you prime, you can do a little bit of a touch up. Um, generally, it's necessary you get little pinholes. So you want a good finish. You have to do some touch up after the prime. But this is perfect for what we're doing today. It comes pre-mixed. We'll just throw a couple of dollops here on our hawk. Important, work the mud before you apply it. You wanna just kinda work it up a little bit. It loosens up, if you like. You can also add just a little touch of water in there. That'll help make it a little bit wetter. Make sure that it's gonna get a good bond with that paper. That way you don't get air bubbles that you'll have to repair later. So, the trick here is to apply the mud to the ceiling. Around the patch and also at the crack Fill that side so it has something to bond to. So just before you put it up, put a little bit of mud along the outside perimeter of your patch. That'll just make sure that you get a really good bond and it won't crack. Now, because we have blocking in the wall, once I put this up, I'm also gonna attach it with a screw. Now we're gonna take our knife. We're gonna gently place the paper in the mud. Now I'm gonna stretch it out.
Now I have more tape than I need here, so I'm just gonna cut a little bit of this off. A bit away from that light fixture. Okay. We'll fill up these other areas here. When you're doing drywall mud patch, less is more. Okay, so it's not going to look pretty after the first coat, but you don't want to put too much mud on there. You'll cause things to lift and separate, and you'll also have big bumps, so then you'll have to add even more mud to smooth it. Now we let that dry. So because this is really quite simple, let's assume this is dry. Really all you have to do then after that is just fill the inside gap. Okay, just nice and quick like that. Let that dry, usually overnight is what it takes. Come back the day after that, and you'll just go like this over the entire patch and then you'll smooth it out until you have a nice finish. Obviously this is all still soaking wet so it's hard to show you but if it can look that good even while it's soaking wet when it's all finished you just a light sand and paint and you're finished. If you're enjoying these videos subscribe to the channel hit the like button but most importantly comment on the videos by all means or a suggestion of video you'd like to see let us know we'd love to be in touch.